sugar, spice, and everything nice. Hi besties, Michelle here. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video, to a new vlog. I know, again, she's disappeared, but I was on a vacation and last week I just got right back into work and kind of just getting back home. You know, after vacation, you're just kind of like lost, kind of like out of place. As you can see, I kind of cut my hair. I know it looks a lot shorter than what it really is, I had just cut some layers into it because my hair was growing really, really fast and it was growing really awkward. I really hated it. It was really hard to style. I've never had my hair without layers and the last time that I had, I had cut my hair was in January and it was really getting to me because I couldn't do anything with my hair. So before my trip, I actually went and trimmed my hair and got a fresh little dye. That's why it's really dark right now. Hopefully it stays dark. I told the lady, please give me the blackest black you have. I feel like every single time that I dye my hair, my hair is never black enough. So yeah, so I had cut layers into it. She cut a lot of layers and she kind of cut my front layers a little too short, which is fine. I really never stress out my hair. It's not that bad, but it does look a lot shorter than what it really is, but it's kind of cute. It's kind of giving something different, but whatever. But yeah, as you guys know, I did go on a cruise last week, maybe a week ago. This week would be two weeks, like this weekend. And I went to the Bahamas, I had a blast. I know you guys are probably waiting for a vlog, but sorry, like I was saying, because my camera ran out of memory because of all the footage from the cruise, I don't know if I'm gonna upload the vlog because the vlog isn't really, like it doesn't flow, it's just basically like a whole bunch of clips. And I had so much fun that I wasn't really focused on vlogging and i don't want to say there wasn't really much to vlog like there was like to catch little moments but it doesn't flow like a vlog like how i would like it to so maybe i'll like put in some clips at the end of this vlog of my cruise i think that'll be a lot better just like one big vlog i don't want to make like a separate vlog of it because i don't think it's it, it flows well if you guys understand what i mean but to tell you guys about my trip we went during a tropical storm yeah it's getting actually, a little yeah, harder it's getting a little oh look you can't see look, look at the camera look at the camera you can't even see <laughs> you can't see anything which was very interesting i'm not gonna lie to you guys i was a little spooked i have been on a cruise before and obviously like it rocks a little bit but this was literally like like this it was really scary the hangers were like crashing back and forth and the water looked insane because we ended up getting upgraded last minute day of the day before the trip which was really exciting we got a huge balcony and a huge bed it was it honestly was an amazing trip welcome to the booties room we got nappy we got jewels fur we got our bathroom and me yeah <laughs> we got a couch we got a full mirror <laughs> we got the king size we got the king size bed baby and we got our balcony we're right in the front what if i jump nah i'm kidding i'm kidding <laughs> until it wasn't actually no just kidding it was i had literally have zero complaints first date was fun we had a blast we had a whole bunch of drinks not so dinnery not so dinnery um i have the same makeup on i just picked up my hair but here. We went out and then the next day I woke up with a terrible hangover. <laughs> oh lord. God day bless America. Two. Hey. Because it was in the middle of the storm and the boat was rocking like crazy. My friend woke up seasick and we were all just like we should maybe just like kind of cool it a little bit. And then the second day they did announce that we were not able to go to the private island or whatever that you were supposed to go on. Which kind of sucked. So we were initially on the boat for two days. Those are at dinner. Day two. We got a little calamari ash, another calamari, and she had escargot. Cause you escar already, you know. <laughs> a little mukbang moment. <laughs> we are at the star lounge. Acting like the real stars in town. If you can't go to Bella Noches, then where the hell could you go? So this is in Live Miami. <laughs> This is <laughs> Miami. <laughs> 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 oh, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Last 
last day we got to go to the bahamas which was so much fun i can't even pick like the funnest day maybe it was the last day we went to the bahamas we got this tour guide and it was only me and my two girlfriends so it was like only like us four and he took us to this island we met some super cool people and we stayed with them. we were supposed to go to like places around the island because we got a tour guide for a reason and we basically just stayed there all day it started pouring became best friends with the bartender at margaritaville and we told the guy like just let us stay it was pouring rain but it was still gorgeous and beautiful and then when we told him to pick us up we still had a few hours left before we had to get on the boat so he took us to the locals and we went to go and drink with the locals at their little bars and we really wanted a conch salad and he went in the rain in his super nice like they dressed really nice clothes got soaked and brought us it was like super huge and it was really nice of him so yeah and then we had to go back on the ship which was really sad because i hold like really emotional attachments to people and like you know i'm probably never gonna see them again and i had so much fun with them and yeah so then we went back to the boat we went back to the boat we went to the pool having a blast in the pool and i was playing music everything was all fine and dandy until uh like the guy that was sitting next to me he was kind of drunk he like knocked over my phone into the pool when it was already halfway down and do not tell me why that pool was like 11 feet i'm not kidding when i tell you it was like 11 feet because i remember when i got up i looked at the number and it said 11 feet do not ask me why a cruise ship has an 11 foot pool but they did it was the adult pool adult or not you shouldn't have an 11 foot pool regardless the music kept on playing in the music player and so i caught it like they were like oh isn't that your phone but we'd never noticed that the phone fell because it kept on playing music so i'm swimming halfway down this 11 foot pool and to get up i was struggling a little bit because i never got to really catch my breath because i saw my phone went down and i just dipped down didn't even really catch my breath so i had to get helped to get up from um this other couple that was next to me they were super cool so the husband literally grabbed me by the arm and helped me up because i was nearly drowning I got my phone and my phone was working she was working everyone it was the joke of the rest of the day because we're like we can't believe that your phone is still working even though it fell like basically 11 feet my problem was i was obviously drinking all day i didn't really think much of it i should have turned it off dried it and let it kind of like cool off over there but i just kind of kept it playing kept the party going and had a blast then someone else offered to play their music and i was like please do so so i can give my phone a break gave my phone a break put it away spent a few more hours like on the deck and we're having a blast and i completely forgot about my phone and we went back upstairs to get ready for dinner and again i completely forgot that it fell in the water and i went and put it to charge so i basically fried my phone that was the mistake the only thing that sucks was that my phone was not backed up it didn't back up in those days i thought it automatically does i guess it didn't and i do not have any pictures or videos from my phone thankfully i do have footage if you guys follow me on instagram i did post a little reel a little recap of my trip so i'm very thankful that i had my camera so i do have footage but all the funny pictures and videos of all my outfits were gone i know i talked about in my last vlog that i wanted to start taking pictures of my outfits and i did and they're gone all gone and i still have the phone i didn't turn it in because i still have some sort of hope when i got home the little apple did pop up and the little battery thing did pop up because i did put it to charge because my phone did die that's why i put it to charge but i never actually fully dried it i just took it out of the water and just like kind of dried it off with a towel and never really shook it and made sure all the water was out and on the phone where like the sim card goes like it, the each phone has like a little line if it's red it does obviously say that there's water in it and it's very much so red i had it in rice i don't know if you can see the rice over there well everybody hey hey this is michelle here for the update i come to the room and i ask room service as a joke i'm like hey can you guys just bring me just uncooked dry rice they brought me dry uncooked rice but i don't think it's coming back to life so she is gone that's the only sad part about my trip but it's fine i had to be with my iphone 7 the entire week which was insane having a phone with a button after not having a phone with no button for so long is so weird and all like the memories of like 2019 when i had an iphone 7 were just all coming in and i was having a lot of fun looking at oh my god <clears throat> i was having a lot of fun looking at all those pictures and videos because that was such a long time ago that was around the time that i started this blog keto gone glam so there was just a lot of memories in there another the really cool thing that happened on my cruise was that i got recognized if you guys are watching say hey in the comments say hey, hello, hey, hello. Hey, hello. Hey, hello. Hey, hello. Hey, hello. Hey, hello. Hey, introduce themselves 
introduce themselves. Oh, Luna. Go first. Millie. Hi. Hi. Daisy. Hello. <laughs> We're <laughs> stuck. <laughs> came to take a nice little pee <laughs> and I walk in and they're like you do YouTube and I'm like um no I don't yes. know that. <laughs> I know that but anyway I went my new friends hey. Hey. <laughs> hey girlies hello which was so surreal because I have gotten recognized before I've gotten recognized maybe like three times so yeah i go in i go inside i'm there just waiting in line and then her name is millie if i'm not mistaken uh she goes to me she goes are you michelle do you do youtube i think that that is what she said i was a little drunk and i was like yeah she's like do you do youtube and i'm like yes and then her friend comes out and says hi and we're all there taking pictures like laughing because like I get really nervous when those things happen to me because I don't really, I never really think of those things to happen to me. So I'm just there kind of like really shy. And then of course, you know, I'm like a freaking, I'm all over the place. Started hugging everyone, started taking pictures. I whipped out my camera, of course. And then a mom walks in and she's like, oh my goodness, my daughter watches you. Can we take some photos? And I'm like, what is happening right now? So I got recognized two times in the bathroom in a matter of like 10 minutes. And that just, that was the first day, so it just meant so much to me, and I had a blast, and then I saw Millie again when we were leaving the little club or whatever, and it was just amazing. I know she lives here, so I'm sure I'm going to see her again, and it was amazing. It was amazing. It was amazing. It really filled my heart, and I think that's probably why I had such an amazing trip, because I met you guys, so... But yeah, and then I came back to work, and I really missed my coworkers. I came back to work on Thursday, and then it was soaking wet it was raining all day there was like a storm or something i don't know and then this weekend was insane i have not had a crazy shift like this weekend in a long time just because the weather has been kind of bad and it was amazing it was amazing i made so much money this weekend and i'm really thankful for that and i also chose to pick up two more shifts this week because i am on money making mode because i am on apartment mode baby yeah i do have a trip to colombia next month and the ending of july which i'm really excited about um but i already paid like our airbnb is paid our my plane ticket is paid so all the important stuff is already paid who is this man coming to my house so i don't really have to spend much it's only if i decide on outfits which i'll probably like do a few like shein purchases because i don't know how to control myself but we are on saving mode you guys i am going to start working from i picked up a full moon party on Wednesday and then we have two events at the beach club this weekend I think they're buyouts which are super easy events and we make the most money so I'm really excited about that so I'll be working from Wednesday to Sunday and today I am like filming and stuff and I'm gonna go work out get some groceries and then tomorrow I'm gonna probably rest go tan at the beach before I have the super long work week that I'm gonna have I know I'm talking a lot but I feel like I've had to update you guys on everything i'm also starting the soft 75 challenge that i saw on tiktok which i feel is doable so basically you work out every single day you leave one day to rest for 45 minutes no you work out every day for 45 minutes you read 10 pages of a book you drink three liters of water and you only drink uh socially on social occasions so i guess like you don't drink by yourself i don't drink by myself i only drink on social occasions so yeah i want to try it today is going to be the first day i have my cute little workout set i'll show you guys in a bit that i got from target i saw them i saw the tiktok actually the morning of my trip and i ran to target before i had to meet up my friends to go on the cruise to get this set and you guys need to get it i spent like 40 bucks for the set the set was like 40 dollars, which i thought was pretty solid and the material is amazing so i got a cute little workout set so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i think i've talked enough so yeah that's my little update yeah okay so don't mind me i'm about to stretch for the gym um i also want to start doing pilates so i'm gonna start watching some youtube videos on how to start like on some at-home pilates workouts but this is the set i think i got the bottoms in a medium and the top in a large i don't remember or i got one thing in a medium but i really don't feel like taking it off just for reference you guys it is amazing go get it like i said before i got it for 
40 bucks. Top and bottom, they were like 20 bucks. Run, don't walk to Target. So yeah, I'm gonna get my stretch on, get warmed up, and then we're gonna go to the gym. Hello everyone, so I am back from the gym. I had an amazing workout. Honestly, I did some workouts on the mat after I stretched a little bit. I did some workouts that I used to do when I used to dance and let me tell you something, I almost didn't go to the gym because of how sore I was already getting and everything hurt, but I went. I took my fat burner pills and I had my superfoods drink that I've been talking about that I love that helps a lot with bloating. So this is the fat burner that I take that I've been taking for years. It's on my Amazon storefront if you guys want. it's My links are always in the description box. So yeah, this one is the greatest, amazing, doesn't let me, doesn't get me all jittery and stuff so i really like this one and it has ketones in it if you are living a low carb keto style life so love them so i took two of these and i had my super greens little tea and i haven't really had much to eat because i ate really late last night so yeah i did a little grocery shopping i went to trader joe's and to aldi uh i am going to start eating a lot better ever since maybe march after ultra and all that stuff i started eating like whatever again and last week i had a really bad binge day because i was really frustrated with everything on my phone and i was just being dramatic maybe i haven't gained but i've been feeling really bloated lately and i haven't been making the greatest choices or maybe i have gained weight i don't know i haven't weighed myself i kind of don't want to and i'm not going to right now so yeah it's time to make some better choices because we are going to columbia next month and i'm not trying to be bloated so i am going to really focus on eating better so uh first things first i went to aldi i got some keto friendly bread i love this bread it's the cheap one that i get at aldi and it's good doesn't really taste like much but it gets your bread cravings out of the way i also got some string cheese so i can have at work as a snack i also got some chipotle peppers because i use like a little bit of the juice to marinate some chicken and it tastes like the chicken from chipotle and lastly i just got some feta cheese because i love feta cheese in my salads so that's all i got from aldi now going into trader joe's to start i got two seaweed snacks they're 99 cents each and they're wasabi flavored they're my favorite if you're new here i am ridiculously obsessed with wasabi seaweed snacks they're so good and they are my favorite snack ever i also got my favorite little crunch salad thing from trader joe's this one has kale brussels, brussels sprouts broccoli green cabbage and red cabbage i love this i've been getting this ever since i started going to trader joe's years ago i also got this cauliflower pizza crust i saw someone on tiktok talk about it so i wanted to give it a try i like the cauliflower thins i think they taste really good so i don't see why the pizza crust wouldn't taste good as well so for the whole thing it's 230 calories and five net carbs so, something different other than low-carb tortillas. I got these super cute, teeny, teeny, teeny tiny uh, cukes, cucumbers, because I love cucumbers, but usually I never finish them. I never finish the whole packet or they're too big. So when I saw these, I was like, how perfect. They're super tiny, perfect for snacking and putting them in salads. Of course, re-upped on my roasted garlic hummus. You guys know this is one of my top, probably three favorites of Trader Joe's is this hummus it's so freaking delicious something new that i got is this creamy cauliflower mash with butter cream cheese and sour cream which is new at trader joe's and i've seen a lot of people on tiktok buy it and say that they like it it's three net carbs for half a cup and 140 calories so you just microwave it and i think i'm going to try this today with salmon i'm not a fan of cauliflower but sometimes i am so i just decided to give this a try because a lot of people on tiktok like it and i'm easily influenced i also got this cuban style citrusy garlic seasoning blend i have been eyeing this one for a hot minute but i'm like do i really need another seasoning and i'm like yes of course i do so i'm going to use this on chicken and i'm really excited i actually want to smell it let's smell it it smells delicious oh my god it smells so good i got some ooh, avocado oil spray which is the best i always run out really quick i got some ricotta cheese look at how big this thing is and it was like two dollars so much cheaper than at publix you guys know me another one of my favorites is ricotta cheese i love having ricotta toast and mixing it sometimes with the hummus oh my goodness ricotta ricotta toast is my favorite ricotta cheese is my absolute favorite for i guess proteins you can say i got the carnitas again i made some 
tacos a few videos back but they weren't low carbs just the tortilla but this was so good and you get a lot for how much you pay for i forgot how much this is but it's so good and lastly i got some salmon because i've been craving salmon that's basically it for my little mini grocery haul i do not know what i'm gonna have i don't know if i want to eat like a meal meal right now or if I just want a snack. I don't know. Because I don't want to eat too late either. Should I just make the salmon now? Fuck it. I think I'm going to make dinner now instead. Just so if I do get hungry later, I'll just have like a little snack. You know what I mean? All right. So I've decided on salmon. I like to air fry my salmon. I like to put everything in the air fryer other than steak. I've never tried steak in the air fryer and I don't think I'm ever going to. So I'm gonna cut these up into cubes, into little pieces. I leave the skin on, because I like it to get nice and crispy. If you don't like salmon skin, and you don't like salmon skin, don't judge me. So we're gonna cut these into nice little cubes. I think I'm gonna do some spicy brown mustard. I've never done my, I've never done my salmon with mustard before, but I just saw some, oh, ew, mustard juice. I just saw some girl on TikTok do it, so I'm gonna give it a try so i put some spicy brown mustard i'm gonna try the citrus garlic seasoning because i just got it today and why not give it a try a little bit of that so i'm just gonna put a whole bunch of random shit in here some slap your mama seasoning could never go wrong with this stuff it's just cajun seasoning and then i'm gonna add a little bit of paprika for color because why not all right I'm gonna give this a nice little mix with my hands. All right, well, that smells delicious. Oh my God, it smells so good. So here you go, we have our salmon. I'm gonna hop, hop this. I'm gonna pop this in the air fryer and just kind of keep an eye on it. I really don't know how long it takes. Just to your liking, I guess. So now that we have the salmon in the air fryer, I'm gonna chop up some red onion because I'm gonna have a little salad on the side or a big one, I don't know, it depends. Uh, so I'm just gonna do this. This is how I do it. If you guys have a better way in chopping up onions, <laughs> please let me know. But this is how I get them nice and even. Kind of gets me nervous, but I mean, it works for me. And then I just kind of do one of these and see, perfect little, Oh, perfectly nice diced red onion. And I'm going to rinse it once we're done a little bit, just so I'm gonna take these little yellow pieces out. Cause I don't like the middle of an onion. I don't know what the fuck that is. Yeah, as of recently, I saw that you're supposed to wash your red onion to kind of get like that like really weird taste out of it. And it is a complete game changer for me. I never knew. You learn every day. So I'm just gonna keep that to the side for now. Maybe that is a little too much red onion. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to thinly slice these cute little cucumbers because I don't like big chunks of cucumbers. So I think these are just perfect. Look at that. Okay, so everything is done. Can we please talk about this salmon? So I gave the cauliflower mash a try when I heated it up. It's so good. And I am not a huge fan of cauliflower and this tastes amazing. The girlies on TikTok were right. If you can find the cauliflower mash, get it. It's super easy to make. You just pop it in the microwave. So good. And I think this is how I'm gonna make my salmon now with the spicy brown mustard. It tastes phenomenal. And for my salad, it also looks really pretty. Look at her. So I just used the crunch blend, the salad blend with the little mini cucumbers, some red onion, feta cheese, and some Italian dressing. Yeah, I'm gonna take the first bite on camera and then I'm gonna eat this and enjoy this because my grandmother's TV broke and her show is on and I feel really bad. So, yeah, so she can watch TV here. All right, so here's the first bite. Phenomenal. Good morning, everyone. I'm just looking for a spot. Um, I am actually at the gym. It is 10.20 in the morning can you believe because i can how is everyone doing it's actually the next day i did not finish the vlog yesterday because i was so tired i was up since 7 30 in the morning yesterday sorry if this angle is a little weird i just 
I can't find a good angle. So this is this is it. I look like a little girl about to go to her dance recital. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I was up since 7.30 in the morning yesterday. I woke up today at 8. And I'm just taking advantage of waking up early because I feel energized. Like, I feel really good. So instead of just staying in bed just because I feel like it's too early, I'm like, let me just get up. Seeing, like, a huge change in myself, which feels really cool. This angle, I look so ugly. I look so weird, but whatever. I'm just coming to the gym and my hair's really dirty. I have to wash it today. So, you know, when you see this hairstyle, it just means that the hair is dirty. But... Like I was saying, I've been waking up really early lately and um, I've been really enjoying it and I've also been seeing a huge shift in myself and I just want to keep on making positive changes. So this morning I woke up and I said, okay, before I go to the gym, I'm going to go to Barnes & Noble and get myself a book. I've never really been a person to read books because I feel like my mind is always all over the place and it's very hard to focus so I've always just like kind of put that aside but I've realized all the benefits that when it comes to reading and it just really there's just so many benefits to it that I want to try it so also for the soft 75 challenge I don't know if I finished talking about it yesterday so I'm just gonna talk about it again basically what it is is that you move your body for 45 minutes every day you have one resting day you drink water only drink on social during social occasions and you read I think it was 10 or 20 pages of a book um, I started yesterday, but I did not have a book and I was going to do Audible, but I feel like I would just doze off with Audible. So I'm like, I need an actual physical copy and I was going to buy a book on Amazon, but it wasn't going to get here until Thursday. So I'm like, let me just get up and go to Barnes and Noble. And it was really nice and it was really calming and it was really cool just seeing a whole bunch of books. And the one that I decided to get, oh, there goes my thing. The one that I decided to get, cause it's like. I had a few books that I was like looking up and a few book recommendations from people and kind of like when I got there I was kind of looking for those books but this one just kept on calling me and it just kept on like drawing me into it so I decided to get it and it's called Welcome Home A Guide to Building a Home for Your Soul and I started reading a few pages and I'm really excited to read it. I opened it and the first page that I read was I was like, I need this book. More than ever, I feel like ever since my breakup, it was a long relationship. I've just kind of been a little lost in how to find myself again in a way because you're just so used to being with someone for so long. And I was the type of person who always put that person before myself and never really, really I never really thought about myself. I always just wanted everything to be good with them, make sure that they were okay, that their life was all good and really supporting them. And I never really thought about myself. I never, I just wanted the relationship to work so bad and I wanted that person to be happy and I just cared about their happiness more than my own. So I never really got to love myself and I'm being really vulnerable right now and I just feel like, I've just come to the point in where even though the breakup was a little bit ago, you know, there's things of where you go no contact and then you talk to them again and then you these feelings resurface and even though that person doesn't feel the same anymore, you know, I'm you're still not fully healed. It's it's a really long process that maybe people who haven't been in long relationships understand that when you're with someone and you got with them so young and then now you're like a full grown adult, it's really, really weird. And you know, there's a lot of things to adjust. You're a completely different person. You are on your own and you start to self you start to self reflect a lot on the person who you were in that relationship. And it also came to a point where obviously there's a lot of reasons why it ended. And you know, as much as that person you can say was the problem, you know, I also, reflected on how I had a lot of faults too and how I had a lot of issues too that I had to you know learn and really come to light and realize that I was also the problem and I also needed to become a better person I'm not a perfect person and I know that I wasn't perfect either so I don't like to always blame it on the other person so I just want to become a better version of myself for me for my new partner and you know what I mean I just feel like now as I'm grown and I'm on my own and I'm about to turn 28 in a few months that I just want to 
be the best person that I can be and just make better decisions, better habits. And one of them is gonna be reading. And now that I've gone to the gym, waking up early, I feel like is a lot for me. And little baby steps is still steps. So I'm really proud of myself. So here's to a new journey and just becoming the best person that I can be and just being really soft and gentle and giving all the love that I deserve to myself. I feel like for a lot of years, it was a lot of self-sabotage and toxic environments, toxic people, not really thinking for myself, always putting others before me. And I feel like I owe it to myself to really love me and really give myself the best life that I can be because in life, you know, you only get one that we know of and or if you believe in and you just really never know and you just have to make the best out of it. So I'm really excited to start this book. I have a lot of catching up to do and I'm really excited for it. So I've never been to the, well, no, I have been to the gym this early, maybe once before a work shift, which I've decided that I'm never going to do because my job is so exhausting. So yeah, today is my last day off and then tomorrow Wednesday starts a really busy work week for me which I'm really excited about because again, I just really want to focus on getting my own place. I had a really deep talk with my mom, uh, I think it was this weekend or Friday or something and I've realized that as much as I love living at home and being around people because I'm a person who I... I'm the best when I'm around people, especially my family, but it is very cluttered. I feel like I'm very cluttered in there and that I can't be my full self or really be able to put my full potential in what I really want to be in life because it's just... Well, that was embarrassing because my camera kind of overheated, but long story short, just to kind of end it on a good note here, I really, really do have to focus a little harder on getting that apartment just so I can really move into that next step in life and I'm really excited for it I feel like everything has its own divine timing and life has always proven to me that everything really does happen for a reason so I'm sorry if you guys see this this was my little sun blister it's just a, uh, a scab now but whatever if you guys have been watching okay you don't want to you hello guys so I am back what a day i've had i've had an amazing day it's one o'clock and i've already gotten so much done basically all i have to do today for the rest of the day is edit this video and put it up for you guys so yeah i started the book safe to say i am more than 20 pages in the challenge is 10 pages a day and I've already done over 20 because I had to catch up from yesterday since I got the book today and I honestly couldn't stop. I feel like this book is speaking to me in levels that I can't even explain. Uh, like I said earlier, I haven't read a book in a really, really long time and I find it really hard for me to focus. As maybe it's because I've read books that people have recommended me, but it's really different when you know, everyone is going through something different and when I tell you that I had the books that people recommend recommended me in my hand, this one just kept on calling me and calling me and calling me and I'm just so excited to keep on reading it. I even started highlighting, which is really, really exciting. Started highlighting a whole bunch of stuff and I'm just feeling really nice today. Today's also full moon, so happy full moon in Sagittarius. Uh, I did have some lunch, but I had some lunch with my mom. I haven't really been able to do that with her because everyone in the house actually was super sick. Before I went on my trip, my brother had gotten COVID and then my dad fell right after. Then I left on my cruise, came back, my, grand my mom was positive and then now my grandmother. Thankfully, I am okay. I do not feel sick. I mean, I've already had COVID twice and the flu. So... I think I'm kind of safe on this one, so I haven't really been able to see or hug or touch anyone in the house. So today we finally got to have some lunch. So I didn't record anything. I'm sorry. Plus my camera was in my car, but I just had um, a sandwich and then I had my Perfect Keto Nola Bar. These are so good. If you guys ever want to grab some like, Perfect Keto products, I always leave my code and the link down below for you guys. It's so freaking good. This is the coconut and chocolate chip one super yummy did i tell you guys about my workout bro i went i went to the gym and honestly it was probably the worst time to go to the gym it's just a whole bunch of high schoolers you know it's summer i understand 
but there was like no treadmills no machines i had a couple stare at me trying to wait for a machine and it made me feel so uncomfortable but i was like if you want to stare at me use a machine go ahead which gave me really bad gym anxiety because i hate gym anxiety but i kept on going because i'm like you're already here you're doing great and then you know i had my little tanning sesh like i like to do so i think i've basically caught up on you guys with everything in this vlog i don't know if i'm gonna be able to really vlog for the rest of the weekend because i have set for the rest of the week because i have such a busy week i know i'm gonna be very 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 tired but it's gonna be worth it so it's okay and i'm gonna be busy busy making money so it's cool but yeah if you guys if you're going through a weird healing phase in your life i mean i just started reading this book but just by the few chapters that i have already read it's just really nice and it's really helping me with healing in the sense of where i th like healing is like a non-stop journey there is no final destination to it and i feel like i've come to a part of acceptance in a way of accepting things for what it is and now just moving forward with my life and really taking the next step and really healing myself healing my inner child healing who i was these past couple of years and just kind of going with life and enjoying life to the fullest learning new things every day learning new things about myself and just appreciating everything every day yeah welcome back to this journey i feel like i have talked enough i feel like i've talked enough we will talk on my next one i love you guys so much if you guys like this video please make sure my grandma okay my grandma's gonna take a shower she she has to let us know just in case anything happens oh it's also her birthday it's my grandma's birthday on the 16th which is thursday and she has covid poor thing i have to actually get her a gift and then it's father's day on sunday which sucks because i work but maybe since i picked up shifts maybe they'll let me leave early who knows if you guys like this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe down below for more videos every single week if you guys have any book recommendations on self-healing and just overall feel good books leave them in the comments down below your favorites i feel like maybe i'm gonna be a little book girly now because let me tell you something i am really really enjoying this who am i love that anyway you guys love you so much always remember to be kind to one another and i will see you on my next one mm -hmm.